I want you to summon the old me, back when everything seemed simple. Back when I was invincible. Is that Bunyan? It's the big Bunyan. My young, simpler self. My sinful self who chopped down this whole world. I won't accept who I used to be. I can't. You want to fight me? Sure, I'll take on any challengers, especially if you're fighting on nature's side. Wilkie, promise me you won't interfere this time, no matter what. Okay. Senpai? Bunyan has to do this herself. Hmm. Watch this, everyone. I'll show you all the ending I deserve. Here I go! Good luck, Bunyan! Which one? Oh, right. They're both Bunyan. The Super Bunyan! The Leader Bunyan! You know, I think I'm getting a second wind. I guess my time is over. You're the future me, right? That's right. Past me, you were supposed to be invincible, but... But you're stronger. You always get back up and keep trying. You have lots of good friends, too. From now on, this world will be in your hands. That's not true. I wasn't supposed to win. This isn't how it was supposed to end. Why do you say that? Well, yeah, I did really give it all my all since you cheered for me, but I didn't want things to turn out like this. I mean, I'm the villain here. Back when I was cultivating North America's land, I was also destroying the harmony of the natural world. That cultivation was an affront to all of nature. That's why I have to be punished. Villains are meant to be defeated in the end, right? You you mean you wanted to lose? Then Plessio and I were supposed to win? That's the ending I deserve. Plesiosaurus, Mother Nature's Vengeance Incarnate, defeats the barbaric Paul Bunyan who trampled all over it. But that alone isn't enough for a happy ending. Why not? I might be barbaric, but so is Plesiosaurus. One barbarian beating another would just leave the world with another problem. Humans are part of this world too. They shouldn't be wiped out. This world will never be harmonious unless everyone in it has a place to call home. That's why I needed you, Wilkie. 
So after Plesiosaurus' defeat, you wanted Senpai to, to feed him for humankind. Mm. You're a hero, Wilkie. You're the perfect person to bring harmony to this world. I was completely sure you would create the perfect happy ending to this final mythical movie. But then I went and ruined it all. Me, the villain. I really am the worst, aren't I? I knew what I was doing and I still ruined the happy ending. This is all wrong. I should have lost. No, you're wrong about that. You too? In the name of our master, Daikokuten, and on behalf of all of us mice, please allow me to say something. Boss Bunyan, you are the very arrow this world needs. Arrow? Senpai? Are you sure you don't mean eros? Oh, oh right, I guess the French word for hero does sound like arrow, doesn't it? Um... Yes, let's just say that's what we meant and move on. At any rate, if there is any hope of resolving what's happening here, you'll need to understand how it began. Please let us tell you our story. Over the course of this incident, many heroic spirits have been summoned here as servants. The first to arrive here was us on behalf of Daikokuten. Really? Daikokuten was the first one here? That's right, it was us. I'm afraid we don't know exactly how that happened either. We found this place, North America, to be filled with magical energy and an abundance of natural beauty. It was, and is, exactly what we needed to thrive. At first we thought it was a lucky coincidence that brought us here. So you were drawn by the pool of magical energy that built up here naturally and it summoned you by coincidence? Well, I'll be damned! So then, does that mean you guys... Indeed, we are the ones who invited Boss Bunyan to this land. When we came here, we had neither purpose nor duty. We did not even have a dependable boss. But, even as divided spirits underling mice of our master, Daikokuten, the god of nation, milding, we had a direction we wished to pursue. We wanted, if at all possible, to create our own world. In the end, though, we're still only mice. All we know how to do is multiply and make rice balls. So we decided to bring in a boss who can deal with myths and give us the ideas we could never come up with. That's how Supervisor got summoned. By the way, Assassin and I just kind of fell out of her pocket when she showed up here for some reason. The hell? I think I get how that happened. It's a good thing I was here though, right? If you want to make a new myth, you gotta make a movie. That's what Wider told me when I met her, so I decided to let her handle all the filmmaking. Meanwhile, since I'm the leader, I took on the role of producer, I gathered employees, raised funds, and tried to make movies, myths that would serve me. I believe doing so would lead me to creating greatest possible myth for everyone in this world. And now, that wish has come true in a most magnificent fashion. It has? But how? After all, I... You kept getting up as many times as it took. It's just like that other Bunyan said, you're meant to carry this world. Me? Carry this world? You're a symbol, the epitome of what this land, no, what this whole nation has to offer, Boss Bunyan. Losing one battle doesn't take that away from you. In fact, if I may be honest, the fact that you thought it would shows incredible naivete on your part. Then what should I do? Just keep doing what you've been doing. Trust yourself and stay on your path. No matter how many setbacks you suffer, get back up and keep moving ahead. That's the only way to reach the future. 
Embrace mistakes. Keep them close to your heart. Remember, you carry the hopes and dreams of so many. As long as you keep living and creating in a way that's true to yourself, you're bound to create the greatest myth ever. Live true to myself? Remember, you told me the same thing. Yeah, you're right, Wokey. I did say that before we started filming this last myth. A lot will happen, but all you need to do is face it in the same way you always do, that way. That's all we'll need to make a masterpiece. You know, I'm no movie expert, but isn't the bad guy usually the best part? Who do you think you are, trying to take all the glory for yourself? N never mind that now. This isn't the ending I had in mind, but maybe it still counts as a happy one? There's no credits to roll on human history. Right, because we'll never let it come to an end. Yeah. So this mean we all live happily ever after? Ugh, that sounds just awful. Huh? Mike the alligator just jumped down from Bunyan's shoulder. What is it, Mike? If you have something to say. You reckon we can resolve this all nice and calm-like? Ain't that a pretty picture? But too bad, girly. I ain't much for pussyfooting around. I see something I don't like, I fix it too sweet. No fussing around. What's going on? Something's not right. Uh, what's going on? Something's not right. Something's welling up inside me. Heh, <laughs> don't bother trying to stop it. Ah! <laughs> Later, girly. Ain't never gonna be one mind and body with you again, no siree. What happened to me? You got smaller? It's true, senpai. Bunyan has gone from a teenage look to something a little more innocent. Boss Bunyan must have been manifest not only with her own spirit origin, but a number of others as well. Including me, but that's all over and done with now. Hey you, lady from out on the sticks. You talking to me? Whoa, whoa, easy there. I just want to give you a tip of my hat to your clever little jab earlier. You'll have to narrow it down. Everything I say is smart. Remember them fine words before the brawl? Hit the nail on the head. You're a real bona fide historical figure. What's your point? Say yourself, ain't no comparison to that tall tale bunion. You're straight from the real world. Means I got the same bragging rights as you. Mike, stop. You'll only make things worse if you reveal who you are. Shut it, girly. You ain't got a boss of me. I'm a real life hero. Ain't you just a figment of some hick imagination? Wait a second. Are you Mike Fink? That's right, I'm Mike Fink. I'm the king of the keelboaters, the invincible snapping turtle. Mike Fink? Huh? Who's that? The lamest nickname I ever heard. You want to know who I am? Then I'll tell y'all. And I'll do it my way. Wait, Mike Fink is notorious for... Tips, delightful writer's production note. Mike Fink is a legendary roughneck who was also known as the King of the Keelboaters. He was a real person in the 19th century, but he became an infamous and reviled character in well-circulated tall tales. He was said to be a large man with a booming voice who was quick to fight. Reports also claimed that he was an excellent sharpshooter on par with the famous folk hero Davy Crockett. One of Mike Fink's famous snapping and boastful remarks, I'm a salt river roarer, I'm a roaring tailed squealer, I'm a regular screamer from the Mississippi, whoop, I'm the very infant that refused his milk before its eyes were open, and called out for a bottle of old rye, and now I love women, and I'm chock full of fight, I'm a half wild horse and a half cockeyed alligator, and the rest of me is a crooked snappings and a red hot snapping turtle. 
I can't hit like a fourth proof of lining or every lick I make in the woods is like a acre of sunshine. I can outrun, out jump, out shoot, out brag, out drink, and out fight, out rough and tumble. No holts, no bars, no Ari man on both sides of the river from the Pittsburgh to New Orleans and back again to the St. Louis. Come on, you flatters, you bargains, you milk white mechanics, and say how tough I am to chow. I ain't had a fight for two days and I'm spilling for exercise. Cockle doodle doo! First things I'm fixing to do is trim that yap tongue of yours down to a respectable size. Whoop, it's a hero o'clock. Magical energy rising. Mike has grown to several times his normal size. Get that camera rolling. This here the part where I give y'all proper heroic whooping. Bunyan. Got it, Wokey. Mike Fink, I'm the leader of my delightful companions, and I'm putting a stop to this before it gets any further. cock a doodle doo you got a guts, girl, you gotta hand it to you. But you ain't got no business throwing down with Mike Fink. Here he comes. Fine, I guess it can help you out, but you better appreciate this. Come on, rodents, you two, get your tails over here. Huh? Huh? Gah. That was it? Huh. Of course it was. So what if you were the king of the keel boaters? Even steamboats are obsolete now. Well, well. Sun setting in my era, huh? Here, Mike. Come back to my shoulder. You serious? I can't just abandon you. You're still one of my employees. Hmm. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm so damn grateful. I'm about to get a whole damn masses of bit overflowing with my tears. Just don't you go regretting this. So you really are one mind and body now, huh? I think he got out of his system thanks to you. Okay, and that's a wrap on shooting the Sly Smith. Now, all that's left is the finishing touches. Oh, and make sure all the casters look after Gagiga, Plesiosaurus, Omega's injuries, okay? We will, boss. Did you just call him by his full name? Of course I did. I'm everyone's leader, remember? Fight, Super Bunyan! Yaw! Gah! That's it for the bad guys. Now the Mississippi River will be clean and peaceful again. I hope you all keep cheering for me. That's all Super Bunyan could ever want. Until next time! The end. Felicitations, we just set a new record. Fili I mean, congratulations, but uh... Right, it's a record for the shortest theatrical run of all time. I think this is the perfect end point. Here's a monument to all the movies and myths we've made. It's okay if no one else gets it. It can be a reminder for all those who knew what the real last scene was like. Here, big boss. Please take this. This treasure, this future, it's far too rich for our brood. Are you sure? 
Oh, just shut up and take it already. This is what you came for, right? Besides, my dream already came true. Right, Plessio? Scoop! Oh, but just so we're clear, this doesn't mean everything's over. History will keep going on forever, you know? Hell, I might even end up getting called over to your place one of these days. And if I do, you better be damn grateful. We'd be delighted to serve you again. Hopefully, our paths will cross once more someday. Hey, Mary Anning, if we ever see each other again, will you be one of my employees? Huh, I'll think about it. Look, Senpai, the world. It's going back to normal. Go on, Wilkie. It's time you went back to your world. Before I go, can I ask your name? I'm Super Bunyan. I'm always giving my all to bring harmony to the world, come hell or high water. That's all you need to know. Exactly! No matter how many times you fail, you can always try again. I've got my camera all ready to go for the next film. Now come on, Supervisor. Let's go scout our next location. Okay, Ryder. Wherever I go, you should come along with me. Uh. You too, Assassin. I know my pocket's too small, but I can still find room for my trusty accountant. We'll have to share more stories someday. Stories of our... Movies? Or maybe... Our comms with Caldea are back online, Zambai. We can return at any time. Then let's get going. It's up to us to protect humanity, our proof that we exist. The end. What a great movie. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Uh -huh. Today's screening was intended both to give you a taste of our new theater and to show some appreciation for all Master and Mash's hard work. But I invited you as well, Paul Bunyan, because Wilkie requested I do so. You invited me, Master? <laughs> yeah, I'm flattered. But why me? I thought you would get a kick out of it. So you met another version of me in a different world? Tell me more. All in good time. Maybe you'll even get to meet her yourself sometime. Ooh, that'd be great. Now then, without further ado, let us begin today's feature film. And the star of our film is none other than you, Bunyan. Oh wow, I didn't even know I was in a movie. Even after people die and their legends begin to fade, stories like this mean they'll never be completely forgotten. Wow, movies really are marvelous exploits, aren't they? And we can watch them whenever we want now, right? Of course! Now feast your eyes upon our new silver screen. I think I'll try running for president next. It's the perfect job for everyone's leader, don't you think? You'll have to let me interview you. It'll be a documentary masterpiece. I'm going to do even greater things and help guide everyone to happier lives. 
hang in there, Wilkie. I'm sure we'll see each other again someday.